economies constantly in flux and currencies around the world failing, is Bitcoin the future of money? So I'm going to try and do some digging, figure it out. And right now, I'm in the heart of New York City's financial district, just a stone's throw from the New York Stock Exchange and Wall Street. Right next to me, the Bitcoin Center, the hub of the Bitcoin community for New York City. And hopefully the people inside there are going to give me some answers. <laughs> Since Bitcoin is a digital currency, it's usually bought and sold online. But the Bitcoin Center is a place where you can meet other Bitcoin enthusiasts, learn how to get started, and buy some face to face. It's like a really smart guy's frat party in here. Really sweaty, a lot of smart dudes. The center is also like a temple for the Bitcoin faithful. And today, Bitcoin guru Andreas Antonopoulos is here to preach. Bitcoin is much more than just a currency. It is a network for transmitting value across the world without reference to nations, without caring who the sender and who the recipient is. This invention in 2008 created a fundamentally new concept. There's no central authority. I was in Argentina recently talking about Bitcoin. And whereas here in the United States, I have to explain to people why Bitcoin is important. In Argentina, I don't have to explain it. Because just in the last 20 years, they've seen their entire economy destroyed twice because of hyperinflation. And in many places around the world, like for example in Cyprus, the government colluded with the banks to dip into people's deposits and wipe them out. For these people, Bitcoin is much more than just a currency. This is an opportunity to connect with a world economy where they can trade, they can have access to loans and credit, and where they can send their money to other countries whenever they want without their government stealing from them, without their banks stealing from them. That is why Bitcoin can change the world. Thank you. I am so intrigued by the possibilities of something like this. I'm getting all rah-rah fired up, and uh, I want to get a wallet. I want to get some Bitcoin. I want to be a part of the party. Sign me up. Who's buying some Bitcoin? Come on! Right now, one Bitcoin is valued at about $624. It's just like converting U.S. dollars to any foreign currency. The exchange rate varies depending on when you convert. But first, in order to get some digital money, I need a digital wallet. So you want to search up uh, Aegis wallet? That's one of the top ones right now. Install that, click that. So now I've got my Bitcoin wallet. Yes. So this is uh, a NFC chip. Okay. So this is your password. So you don't have to use your password. So if anyone wanted to steal your Bitcoin, they have to steal your phone and your chip. Tap it to the back of your phone. So now it's encrypting your wallet, right? That's genius. Right? So this is your Bitcoin address. You think about the email address too, yeah. where they send Bitcoins to that address. So now if I want to buy Bitcoins here tonight, yeah. what do I have to do? So you're going to have to place uh, a bid and ask order okay. with the guy right there. So he's going to match you with somebody else that's willing to sell. So there are people here tonight, like paying cash, like giving cash for Bitcoins. Yeah, basically. Awesome. This place is no different from any other auction house, but instead of bidding on art, I'm bidding on Bitcoin. So uh, what do I got to do to buy some Bitcoin? How much you want to buy? One. One, okay. The market's 627, buyers are paying that. Okay. 634. You can say 630 right now, and then you become the best bid in the market. Okay, great. Then let's go for 630 right now. Okay. Give me a minute, I'll squawk it out. Okay, he's going to squawk it out. 627 bid, 627 bid, 634 at 33. At 33. For 627 bid, 633 at 31. 631. Okay. For 628 bid, one coin. One coin. 31 at. 628 bid, 631 Can you go 30? Can you go 30? I have no idea. At 631. 629 bid. 630. Oh, 30. Oh, good. 630 trade. 630 trade. So I'm buying 630 from you. Yeah. Okay. So now explain it to me. No problem. You're going to have to hit receive. Okay, so here, I receive this, right? Yep. So and I'm going to hit send. Okay. So I'm going to scan your QR code. Sure. He's scanning my code. Watch this. Here it goes. 630 for the last trade. Don't move. He's scanning my code. 
Now he's entering the amount. So I'm just going to sell you a thousand millibits or one BTC, one Bitcoin. A thousand millibits. Right. I'm buying the foul. Yeah, you, okay. can, you can go many decimals. That's one of the strengths of Bitcoin. Okay. So I, I, I can I can send you like 20 cents if you want. Yeah. Okay, we're going to send it. It's leaving me. Now check your wallet. So I'm going back to my wallet. It should start saying receiving. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So what it cost for you to send this to me was six tenths of one cent. Of one cent. That's pretty cheap. Every time I wire money every month through my free checking free wire account, it cost me 25 bucks. So you just sent me $623 for six tenths of one cent. Correct. That's incredible. It is. It is. There's six. There's seven. Seven. This man that sold is. me my first Bitcoin. So. I don't know about you, but tonight my mind blown right out of my skull. This whole thing is so bananas. Um, I, don't, I still don't understand it, but best part is I got some. I got some right here. I got some Bitcoin tonight. I don't know how to use it. I don't know really what to do with it, but I'm going to figure that out.